uh, hardest thing about doing this uh, project that you've been doing for the last uh, year and a half now? Going on two years, buddy. Uh, probably the hardest, the hardest thing about uh, the project that I'm working on would have been going back skiing in Sun Valley. Uh, that was the hardest, to open that door, start skiing again. Uh, nothing could have been harder, and uh, from, uh, from a hardship standpoint, I'm talking about uh, psychologically, that was the toughest thing I've ever done in my mouth. In my mouth. Oh, boy. My <laughs> life. Uh, yeah, the documentary so needs to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life because uh, be I had to, you know, I had to have that courage and muster that up to uh, to go to Sun Valley and start skiing again. Uh, and I've done a tremendous amount of very difficult things since then. This is difficult what I'm doing today, uh, but nothing compares to uh, opening that door and going skiing again. So this is very hard, but it can't compare ever to starting to ski again and what what it took to do that. So good question, buddy. Uh, what is the, uh, oh, hold on, um, how do you think your endurance, uh, is, um, is going with all the, um, workouts you've done and, um, leading up to this day for the 24 hours? Great question, great question. You know, how's my endurance? What do you think about where I'm at on this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, you know, I got 22 and a half hours left to go to, uh, you know, get me past this first test. And uh, I have uh, full confidence in my uh, in my uh, conditioning, how well I've done so far. Uh, you know, uh, my mind is good for this whole thing. Uh, I'm putting my mind to this, and that's you know, uh, I have the capability mind-wise, mentally. Uh, I the key to today, the key to uh, going up to Camp Muir is going to be my nutrition going to be my hydration, and right now we're doing that big 24-hour uh, dry land test in a controlled environment, because as long as I can uh, fuel my body properly, hydrate my body properly, uh, coupling my body and my mind, I'm ready. The only thing that can hang us up is, is uh, if the nutrition uh, side was uh, fouled up for any reason, because as long as I'm fueled up and good to go, we're going to make it. That's my answer. Okay. Yeah. What kind of like uh, help from your friends and just other people did you get? What kind of help from my friends? Uh, and uh, just like anybody. anybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've had a, a tremendous uh, support system through this process, a following, if you will. Uh, I've had uh, a, a tremendous amount of financial support from my friends uh, and uh, through Facebook and. Uh, uh, and, you know, and through one-on-one uh, you know, -on -one contact with other people. Uh, I have an incredible amount of people just backing me on this thing. And uh, so I, I, I'd have to say I'm one of the luckiest guys in the world when it comes to uh, my support system and people that care about me and people that are rooting me on. What are you, gonna, what are you planning on, um, what are you going to do with the extra money, really? What am I going to do with the extra money? There's no extra money. Well, I meant like, um, are you going to expect how many, if there's anything left of what's of okay. after the project? Okay, okay, all right. No, that's, that, that's a good question, buddy. If, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, this is what I, what I call a uh, grassroots project as far as my fundraising efforts. It's coupled with me uh, combining my own personal finances with this thing. Uh, as we've got more and more momentum on this thing, more possibilities start showing up as far as people looking to uh, assist me. So if I was in a position where I had more money provided to me from whatever sources than is what is needed to uh, uh, finish the uh, documentary ski film itself, that would go into a nonprofit group. Uh, currently, I'm talking to Higher Ground in Sun Valley. That would be going to a nonprofit adaptive skiing program. And that money is earmarked for injured soldiers learn how to ski again. So that money would go straight into what my end goal on this thing is, which is to help injured soldiers through skiing. Okay. Uh, how did you choose to um, to uh, to do this project instead of like 
kind of a different one or um, okay. where did you get the idea of this? Okay, you know, uh, as far as uh, the injured soldiers and, and me having that be my goal. All right, well, uh, one thing about that particular population tag is uh, I never served in the military myself. And uh, these people that do serve in the military, uh, they help protect our way of life, they help protect our freedom. Uh, it's an incredible thing that these people do. And I never did that myself, so it's my way of serving that population and trying to give back to them because they've done so much. And the fact that, uh, as you know, we have family members that are active members in the military right now. Yes. That's a big part of it as well. So. Uh, it's my way of uh, paying it forward and giving it back to the people that do so much for all of us.